Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Sermon Highlights. Um, we're here again today with our pastor, Dr. Harold Thomas III. And sir, I want to thank you for coming back here and sharing the highlights, the uh, main points as they always do um, after your sermon. Thank you, Elder Knowles. Always delightful to be back here and to say hello to each of, them, each of you. Today is Thanksgiving weekend, and so the title of the message today was Thank You, Lord. Mm. Three simple words, but sometimes hard for us to uh, express. And sometimes we don't put thought to when we express it. So today I took the thesis from Psalm 103. I mean, I'm sorry, 100. And there are five verses, but verse 3 was the main point. It talks about the reason why. And the writer informs us because God is our creator and we are not the creator. And so my point was... We want to worship God and remember and recall his creative power in our lives. Not simply about what he does for us, but who he is. Because as the text goes along in verse 4, it talks about enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving is an expression of what we're thankful for and that God does for us. Enter his courts with praise. Praise is to praise God for who he is not what he's done for us. So we're grateful on both ends. He is the, the great God of heaven. He's our creator, our redeemer, but he's compassionate, he's gracious, he's uh, merciful, and he declared in Exodus 33 and 34 that he will have compassion on who he wants to have compassion, and he will be gracious to whom he will be gracious. The essence is that God is a God of love. The Bible says God is love. Amen. He's gracious, he's kind, he's compassionate. Um, and when Moses in Exodus 34, when God passed by him, he only saw the end of God, not the beginning. And so, but yet God is still limitless. He's not bound up. But God just gave an expression of who he is. And so let us praise God for who, you, who he is. He's a God of love. Amen. He forgives us. He's kind to us. He cleanses us. He renews us. He delivers us from danger. Uh, he relieves us of the guilt and shame that can wear us down. He provides for us on a daily basis and for our children and our family. He preserves us, even though his, even his ultimate goal is our salvation. And that pathway to salvation may be through sickness and illness and discouragement and disappointment, but his goodness preserves us in that, and that his ultimate goal is our salvation. So... Thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you do for us. Let us praise his name. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I want to thank you for coming back here and sharing with us. Thank you very much, sir.